The village of Dunmore in North Galway is rural Ireland heartland, a population of 600 with just two recorded cases of COVID. Four of the six pubs have been closed since March and publicans fear they will shut shop permanently like other businesses in the town. We missed the best six months, like I said before, um, uh, with t- tax coming in October and everything. We'll be humming and hawing and see will we re- reopen. It's just very hard at the moment to say we will be re- opening at, at all. For many older people in Dunmore, the pub is their primary social outlet. We have older gentlemen that come. They aren't on Facebook. They're not on LinkedIn. They need an avenue for their, for their to socialise with their peers. We can put the measures in place to make sure that my friends, who are my customers, are safe. And that's what we want to do. We want to deliver a safe environment for people to be able to socialise. The local GAA club in Dunmore is also suffering greatly from restricted numbers. They hope there will be big changes to outdoor gatherings. We um, had to have a raffle for our members to actually get uh, our members, to go, spectators, to go to the game. So we were very restricted with the numbers. We only had 30, and uh, it was worse than all Ireland Day. We were trying to get members sorted for tickets. So um, yeah, if the increase to 500 would make a massive difference. For now, pubs, hotels, and sports clubs are keenly awaiting the forthcoming decisions on Phase Four reopening. Theresa Mannion, RTE News, Dunmore, County Galway. Your face. May the wind 
Clunfed Scenic Walks Resource Centre in Derryla and Clunfed, West Frost Common, in close proximity to neighbouring counties Galway and Mayo. This location also marks the trailhead for all the walks that meander through this unique and tranquil landscape. This recreational outdoor amenity has become hugely popular in, in recent times. This is down in no small way to leader funding that became available in 2018, which enabled us to resurface all of our walking routes, upgrade all our signs and map boards, and to launch a new website. The upgrading of routes included the construction of an all access route, which is wheelchair friendly. This funding from Leader gave a great boost of confidence to the hardworking committee and volunteers who have made this project a huge success. An additional amenity to the Clun Fatsini Walks project, which again was assisted by our colleagues and friends at the Roscommon Leader Partnership. This is a, a multi purpose, well maintained grass court, which has many uses for children going out to play. This purpose built resource centre, which was opened in 2008, now hosts a cafe and in current times a takeaway service for walkers and visitors alike. Car parking facilities are also available here, which was also funded through a leader programme. So when you've completed your walk, or your jog, or your run, or your cycle, be it 3 kilometres or 15 kilometres, you can drop into the Scenic Walks Cafe takeaway for a coffee or a tea or whatever you fancy and relax for the afternoon. Good and good good a good and good and finally, we do have a mysterious fairy walk, but we really don't want to talk about it. It's only for little people. I am missing you. I am thinking of you. How often have we said those words out loud or to ourselves this past extraordinary year when your visit home was cancelled, your face not there at festival week. We have missed above all the simple things, the smile, the greeting, the consoling word, the chat. 2020 was a year when we had to close our doors. But this Christmas, our parish here in Dunmore wishes to give you, our friends at home and abroad, an opportunity to remind those you love, wherever they are, that they are not alone, that they are remembered and cherished and prayed for in our homes and in our church. We have set up a Christmas tree in the grounds of Dunmore Parish Church to help people connect far and wide. And for all of us, it can be a focal point. You have the chance to go online and to gift a light on the tree to someone you miss or in memory of someone who is not with us anymore. 
and be assured too that your gesture is an expression of faith in our young people as each contribution goes towards the refurbishment of our shared parish church. Know that a greeting will be sent in your name to those you nominate. So be part of this community endeavour by clicking www.giftalight.com to start. Let our light shine this Christmas 2020. Welcome to the Clear Galway Hotel Dream Team Awards for 2020. Sophie Healy from Dunmore McHales. Kieran Reddington from Dunmore McHales. At number 13, Matthew Reddington, Dunmore McHales. Well, I suppose uh, we always try to lead by exam from the back because that leads up to uh, us getting scores up front. So. Uh, yeah, a lot of emphasis is put on um, our defending and uh, how we counter attack from that. Yeah, but credit has to go to the lads in the middle of the field as well because they put the pressure on the ball coming in, so the quality of the ball is 50-50 and as a back you always want to be winning your 50-50 battles. It's going to be a great Christmas then it is, uh, but yeah, it's, it's been the longest season, I think, started last uh, last October, we started training like, and uh, finishing now a few days before Christmas, so yeah, it's a great feeling.